We are on one of the creeks here at the Star of the West property. We've come across a quartz vein here. It's about 30 centimeters wide in the water. Comes up out here. And J2's found it up there. Continuation of the vein. As you can see. So we're going to take a couple samples from this. We got some samples here. You have a very small amount of sulfides in here. We're going to take this sample. We'll grab one more as well. The vein starts here and ends right there. It's a width of about half a meter. Finding a lot of quartz float here. You got some sulfides and stuff in there. Looks like a mix of pyrite and calcopyrite. Not hugely mineralized, but there is a lot of this all over the place. Some more quartz float here. See the very coarse iron pyrite. There are a lot of these samples all throughout the creek. And the reason being is the creek is one giant quartz vein. This is all quartz running through the creek here. Down there. It's about a meter wide right here. More quartz under the water there. Lots more float here. Since we've gone 100, 150 meters up this creek, the amount of quartz float here that's mineralized has quadrupled at least. Fine and coarse pyrite and quartz. Another float rock here in the creek that I found. There's a bunch of them here. Hammered it open and we got some massive sulfides. Looks like it's following the quartz. There's definitely pyrite and calcopyrite in there. Some pyrotite. So all these little tiny veins, those are all mineralized very minimally. It's like a blue-green quartz vein. Took this from right there. You can see this is all quartz running through here. Quartz on the sidewall there. This is what we gotta get up. So we're at the top of that little waterfall sketchy area and we found some quartz running up through the creek here. I can see iron pyrite loose in there. But I hammered a sample off from the center. Here's one of the samples. You have coarse and fine pyrite. So we are now on the upper road. This is McCoy Creek. There was supposed to be an adit somewhere along this 
the last hundred meters is very very flat and all these banks are sloughed down on the side this area was just logged and we could not find the attic anywhere we looked all over went out of the banks where we could found lots of samples there's lots of mineralized quartz and a couple uh, small massive sulfide veins so now we're on the upper road this is the other side of McCoy Creek going up there's also mines on this but quite a bit farther up so we're just gonna walk back it's a three kilometer walk on this road back to the vehicle